Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I am finally doing a perfume collection video. I've been wanting to do this forever, but my perfume was at school and at home and I just needed to bring it all together. I have so much perfume. I have such a weird collection and it's so cool to see like people's collections, how their taste has evolved over time, like just what people like and I wanna do that for myself. I feel like it's only fitting to start with the first perfume I ever got and that is for me, Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. I was super obsessed with Juicy Couture, like the clothing, and like back in 2020. And I was like collecting tracksuits. I still have like so much Juicy Couture stuff, like wallets, etc. And I, I found out that they had a perfume and I was like, huh, like I've never had a perfume, like let me buy it. So I bought it and I ended up like loving it. And then it started this whole collection and obsession that I have now. I feel like this is the perfume that a lot of people start with. Maybe now Sol de Janeiro has become more of the beginner scent, but I feel like definitely for a long time, Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy was the go-to for beginners. This is my original bottle. It's a 3.4 ounce bottle, and I think I'm like 75% finished with it, and I've had this for like three years. I'm gonna have to get another bottle soon. And then like, what do you do with an empty bottle? Like, it's so nice, and it's like glass, and like, what should I do with this? Turn it into a water bottle? Anyway. After buying Viva La Juicy, I bought the Flanker at Viva La Juicy Noir, which is like a berry, fruity version of Viva La Juicy, and I was not a fan of that, so I gifted it to a friend for Christmas. After that, I saw Viva La Juicy Gold. This is like a more vanilla-y, more caramel version of the original, so I bought the one ounce version of it, and then I sold it to a friend, because I was like, I don't need both of them, I like the original more. And then this fall, I was like, what was I thinking in back in 2020? Why would I have gotten rid of it? It's so good. I need both of them. So I found it for $40 on eBay. It's great. I love this one. I still think I do like the original more. This one can be a little sickly sweet for me sometimes, but that's rare, I would say. Okay, I'm going back in my memory in my collection, and I'm thinking of what I did after buying my Juicy Couture perfumes, and I think what it was is that I found out about FragranceNet, which if you don't know, is a website where you can get discounted designer perfumes, and I think I kind of went on there and just bought a bunch of random designer perfumes, without really doing any research. I just blind bought them. You may not be surprised, but none of them ended up really being hits for me. So now I just kind of have them and they don't really fit my collection whatsoever. And when I'm at school, I just leave them in my room at home. I lied. One of them did end up being a big hit for me and that is Calvin Klein One. Um, this is a six point, I think, eight ounce bottle? 6.7 fluid ounce bottle. So I have to leave it at home during the school year because you can't travel with this much liquid on planes. The lid completely fell off, so what I do is I'll just open this. Oh my god, it's literally spilling everywhere. And I'll just like dab it on. This is a great, great unisex fragrance. I, I don't know how to explain what it smells like. It's just like fresh, a little sweet, like... It's so good. Very unique to my collection. This is the only thing I have that's like this. And it's, it's really cheap, and it lasts long. Um, clearly, my bottle is super up but yeah did you know that fragrance net has in-person stores i was at the mall the other day and i literally saw fragrance net and i was like this is news but it's weird because you can't like sample everything you have to like go up to them and ask and like i don't know it's just I, i'd rather just shop online the next perfume i bought is actually a cologne i think and this is english leather i think it's called by by juicy couture this is juicy couture's only cologne um i don't think it's popular clearly i am not a fan of it because i bought this bottle probably three years ago and i've never worn it but i love the bottle it's like this weird masculine juicy couture i don't know if anyone watching is into juicy couture but back when they made men's clothing it was so weird because it's like such a hyper feminine brand trying to like attract a masculine audience and it honestly the clothes are super cool but i can't see like an actual masculine person wanting to wear them but like this is still feminine you know what I mean like this isn't giving alpha male energy anyway I don't know it's it's just not not something I would ever wear but I just have it it's kind of a weird unique addition to my collection and I think I'll keep it as long as I can <laughs> the next perfume from fragrance net is Marc Jacobs rain honestly I don't know if a lot of people know about this fragrance but it's a super like high quality bottle sprayer lid this is super heavy 
but it smells weird. Like, I just can't get over not liking the scent, and I really wish I did because it's a really cheap fragrance on FragranceNet. It's a cute little bottle. It's Marc Jacobs. I love Marc Jacobs. Like, I wear Heaven all the time. Like, I, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, and I blind bought it because I was, like, looking at Daisy and all these other things, and I was like, huh, this looks interesting. The juice is blue, which is super unique, and it's a very watery fragrance. If you like watery fragrances, it's it has that watery note. I think there's also some, like, strawberry, um, editing trade, correct me if I'm wrong, and maybe... <laughs> I, mean, I start making stuff up. No, I think, I think it's strawberry, water, and kind of soapy. Um, it's not horrible, but I would just never, ever, ever, ever reach for it. But it's a part of my collection. It's a part of who I am. We're still on the fragrance net buys. I'm telling you, I went absolutely insane with this original order all the way back in 2020. And the next one on that list is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. I don't know like where I was coming from with this. Um, this is like a super adult, mature fragrance, and I bought this when I was like 16. <laughs> and I actually sprayed it yesterday while I was preparing for this, and I kind of like it now. It's super fresh, super... Wait, let me, re let me remind myself. I'm going to spray it on a tie. Yeah. It's super fresh, super apple-y, and then it dries down to like almost a little bit of caramel. I think that's one of the notes. And I don't like it as a perfume, but I like it as a room spray. I would never buy this just to spray it in my room, but I own it, so I might as well use it, right? It's been sitting in my room for three years, under direct light, by the way, which you're not supposed to do for fragrances, and so I might as well use it, I figure. But yeah, this was also part of that big fragrance net order. Um, these are the weirdest fragrances I own. I, I, I don't know. These are the most unique fragrances I own because they really don't align to the scent profile that I generally lean towards um, because I bought them before I basically even knew what a scent profile was. The next perfume from Fragrance Net was Mr. Burberry Indigo. I've never even smelled regular Mr. Burberry. I don't know anything about this fragrance. All I know is it just smells like like pepper, super clean. It's kind of got that classic cologne Dior Sauvage, that kind of smell. But it's super strong, and I don't like it. I do like that the lid clicks in. That's just so cool. But um, I'm pretty sure I just bought this because it was Burberry and probably the cheapest cologne they were selling. I don't know if this even is sold anymore again. Like, I, it's probably not. Like, it's... I wore this a little bit though. I'm looking at the juice and I wore this a little bit more than all the other ones, um, but I don't like it. And uh, and yet it remains on my dresser. Mr. Burberry Indigo. I'm pretty sure that's all of my fragrances from Fragrance Net, besides some celebrity perfumes, which I'll get into later. It's a cool site. They have a lot of good perfumes, but I would recommend you buy perfumes that you're familiar with because just because it says Jimmy Choo or Marc Jacobs does not mean it's going to smell good. As a 16-year-old, I didn't realize that. My Sol de Janeiro collection has been widening and widening. I love Sol de Janeiro. I should just, I guess I should just say... Sol de Janeiro, 62, this is the 8 ounce, 8 fluid ounce, 62 scent, this is the classic boom boom cream scent. I've used almost half of it now. I'm in love with Sol de Janeiro scents. The body sprays are great, they are not long lasting at all, except one. They're really affordable, um, they have really good scents, they have a, a, a pretty wide range, and I think they're coming out with a new one, or it might be already out. It's the purple one. I'm excited to smell that one. This is a great scent. I carry this in my bag. I use it just to, like, freshen up a little bit. I don't really go out wearing this because I know it's only going to last for, like, literally 10 minutes. The next Sol de Janeiro is Do Not Disturb. This was one of their limited edition scents from summer 2023, and I actually didn't get this retail. I bought it secondhand. I think I talked about this in another video, but I love this scent so much that I literally bought it secondhand, even though it's like three fluid ounces and I won't be able to ever get a refill because it was limited edition, which is so annoying. It smells really good though. <laughs> like that's all I can say. Um, there's not really a point in talking about it for that long because it's discontinued and I think now you can only find it for like 50 or more dollars for this and that's just not worth it. But I, I absolutely love it. I think I've got to start being more frugal with how much I use this. Once it's gone, it's gone. The next Soul Janeiro I have is the uh, 68 fragrance. I hadn't tried this one, and this is the Brazilian Jasmine and Dragon Fruit. I don't like this one. This is my least favorite. Um, it kind of reminds me of, like, 
Baccarat Rouge with a little bit more fruit. I don't know, it's my least favorite. It's a very subtle scent and like with a fragrance that already doesn't last super long, I don't want something subtle. And so I'm glad I bought the sample size because I think after I use this, I'll probably not repurchase. The final Sol de Janeiro I have, I can't believe I have so many, is um, Sol de Janeiro 40. It's kind of interesting with this one because when I first smell it, smelled it, and like a couple times I smelled it on my friends, I didn't really like it. This is like a Vanilla Woods scent and it reminds me of Vanilla Woods by, I believe, Seven Virtues. And at first I just really didn't like it. It was too like sweet, too like, I don't know, foodie almost? But over Christmas time, I took part in a Secret Santa, and I was gifted this um, because the person that had me knew that I liked Sol de, Jane Sol de Janeiro, which is so sweet. And I was like, oh, I was obviously so grateful, but I was like, oh shoot, like this is the one I don't like. And then I started smelling it, and I was like, wait, why do I like it all of a sudden? And I don't know, I I've completely switched up on this one. I really like this one now. It's not my favorite, like 60... 62 is still my favorite, but I've like 40 is completely good now. I, I don't know what changed, but it's way more like vanilla extracty than I remembered. This is the only one that I found to be somewhat long lasting. Like I can smell this maybe an hour after I spray it versus like 10 minutes. Okay, next up, this is kind of a one off. Um, it is Boy Smells Woodphoria. Now, I made a Boy Smells video talking about and like sampling, reviewing their exploratory set. And in that video, I decided that I was going to purchase Vanilla Era. I think it's called Vanilla Era. Um, that was a lie. <laughs> I really thought I was. Like, I thought I was gonna like finish recording that video and go buy it. But I ended up like editing and posting the video. And then after that, I went to smell them again and I like kept sampling them. And I ended up just liking Wood For You more. But the video was already posted. So in that video, it says that I'm buying Vanilla Era. But the truth is, I bought Wood For You. This is my confession. I apologize for that mistruth. Wood for you is great. It kind of reminds me of Santal 33 by Lil Labo, but I like it a lot more. It's just like creamy and like woody and I don't know, it's it's good. And it's really good for fall. Obviously, it's not fall anymore, but it's good for fall. I don't know, Boy Smells is an interesting house. It's very... their fragrances are very intense, which can be off-putting a little bit, but I found this one to be pretty great. Oh, I totally missed one from the Fragrance Net purchase, and that is Dolce & Gabbana The One. I was looking up vanilla fragrances, and I really wanted like the best vanilla fragrance, and for some reason everybody online was saying Dolce & Gabbana The One, and this is like far from a straight up vanilla. This is like almost bubblegummy and like eggnoggy is what it is. It's eggnoggy. And I don't, don't get me wrong, I like eggnog, but like I, 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 it's it's not just eggnog. Like if it was just eggnog, that'd be fine. If it were just eggnog. If it were just eggnog, that'd be fine, but it's like a perfumified eggnog scent. And I don't know, I don't want that. Um so, but I just, I have this. I've never seen someone talk about this online besides before buying it, of course. And, uh, I don't know what this is all about, but I can't, I can't be bothered to spray this one. Don't blind buy. I continue to blind buy, but whatever. Ugh. Okay, next up is another one-off perfume. Well, it's not even a perfume, it's a body spray. And that is Bath & Body Works Vanilla Bean Noel. This was the version, like the packaging version from 2020. Um, this is the only Bath & Body Works like body spray I've ever bought. It's good, I mean, it's vanilla-y, I don't know. I, I'm not that into Bath & Body Works sprays, I just, I don't know. Actually, wait, this does smell good. I don't know what, I don't know, I'm not sure what to say about this one. Uh, if they're doing a sale, it's a good value. I've used very little of it in the three years that I've owned it, so... Okay, the next one I got um, purely for the packaging, and that is Hawaiian Tropic Golden Paradise Fragrance Mist. 
Okay, so in the summer of 2021, there was this like aesthetic on TikTok called like coconut girl. It was like a cute like summer like style aesthetic. And in these little videos with these little montages of all these random pictures, they kept showing pictures of these Hawaiian Tropic perfumes and I had never seen them before. And then all of a sudden I saw one at TJ Maxx. Just this one, just this color. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I'll put up a picture. Um, and I saw it at TJ Maxx and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to buy it. Um, and it was $7. It's like a coconut and like woody kind of scent. I don't know, it's good. It's, again, clearly I've not used much of it, but I like the packaging and it's a weird little thing I have. Oops, guess we're done with that. Okay, next up is my number one perfume of all time and that is Glossier Eau de U. I feel like I talk about this all the time amazing scent. Um, I've owned, I think this is my fifth bottle. Um, I bought it right before they released the new larger size. So once I finish this, which is going to be any day now, I will buy the three ounce and that'll be amazing. Um, I can't recommend this enough. I feel like this is my go-to scent. I layer this under most scents that I wear almost every day. I kind of wish Glossier would release more fragrances. Um, they hit it out of the park with this one, so there's definitely um, pressure on them, at least for me to match how good this one is if they do ever release a second one. But imagine if they had like this bottle, but it was like green and like like a, a light green and then a, a forest green top with their sandstones, with their sandstone, with their sandstone um, scent from their deodorant. I don't know, I just, I wanna see what else they can do with fragrance because I feel like that's something that they've done very well thus far. They're always releasing something new, so maybe they will. We'll see. I would definitely try it. Okay, next up is my Nicki Minaj fragrances. I have Menagesty and Pink Friday. I love these. You know, the scents aren't, like, the best scents of all time. I think I like Menagesty more, but the bottles are just crazy. Like, I love displaying these bottles. They're just so fun, and they're so, like, Nicki and, like, I don't know. They're little statues. They're artwork, really, more than anything. Um... I have used this one, like, occasionally. I think Pink Friday I've probably used a lot less. Um, yeah, I've barely used this one. The, sh the bottle alone is uh, worth buying them. I just love these. We have Siren by Paris Hilton. I was on my vanilla journey, and online it said that this is supposed to be a vanilla scent. But this is like the most celebrity smelling perfume you could ever find. There's... Uh, it's not good. I am not a fan of this. This It's just so like late 2000s. I'm, I'm guessing that's when this was released. I honestly would bet money on it. Let's see if I'm right in editing. Another weird addition. It's not vanilla scented at all. Clearly blind buying just never works. Like, like it works probably like 1 in 5 or 10. And yet... I feel like we all do it, right? Whatever. Okay, next up is Love, Don't Be Shy by Killian. <sighs> this fragrance is so much money. I did not pay the, the retail value for this bottle, but if I did, I would be out $270 for 1.7 ounces. That is absurd, but it's very good. It's overwhelmingly sweet, which I've talked about, I think, in another video. It smells like Fruit Loops and Marshmallow, and I love that, but if I spray more than, like, one spray of this on my body, I get nauseous. Allegedly, Rihanna wears it, so happy to have it in my collection. It's a really cute bottle. I do like Killian overall. I feel like this is a super popular perfume on at least YouTube, I think TikTok too, probably because the Rihanna thing, and it's so expensive, and the bottle's cute, and an amalgamation of things. I don't know, because I did buy a travel sized before I bought this full bottle, and I really decided I wanted the full bottle, so it's not like there's really anything I could have done to prevent this purchase. Take your time before buying a perfume with this price tag. Take your time with the decision. Next up is um, Moschino Fresh Couture Moschino Pink. I don't know what the actual name, Moschino Pink is the name. Um, I bought this strictly for the bottle, and I'm glad I did because I hate the scent. Like, it's probably my least favorite. I don't know about my least favorite, but I, I don't like the scent of this, but the bottle is just so fun. Like, it's literally like a... Mm -mm. I wish the perfume 
you could actually like spray it like this. You actually have to take this off and then spray it. I'm not gonna. It's definitely fresh. It's definitely fresh and it's definitely floral. So bear that in mind. Beware, actually. Cute bottle though. Ugh. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> um, that was really dramatic. The next perfume is actually a body mist. I have more body mist than I thought I did, and that is the Brazil Nut Body Mist from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has a Sol de Janeiro dupe. I have this in a bunch of different things. I have it in a cream, a candle, an oil. It's really good. It's like a, a fruitier version of Sol de Janeiro. I've actually never smelled them side by side. Wow, they're really similar. They're actually more similar than I thought. The Trader Joe's version is like a fruitier version of Sol de Janeiro, but I really like it. I got this in a holiday set. It's in a weird little pear bottle, but that's okay. And it's really cheap, so if you're looking for a nice dupe, this is what you're gonna find. This is probably like five dollars, I would guess. I bought it in a set, so I don't know, but I guess it's like five dollars or something. And this is like 30 something. So, uh, lasting power wise, it's very similar. Not good, but it's a body spray, you know, body mist, whatever. Next, we have um, Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. I am really conflicted on this because. When I bought it, I was like, this is my new signature scent. Like, I'm gonna wear this every day. And then I bought it. I like it, but it's just a little bit too... I don't know what it is. Something about it. The, the note that I really like in here is like a brown sugary note. And I do like the gardenia. But there's something department story about it. And I don't know what that necessarily means. I think you just have to smell it to know what I'm talking about. But the bottle's super cute. I do wear it occasionally, but it did not end up being as big of a hit as I thought it was gonna be. And I wouldn't have bought it if I had known that I wouldn't wear it so much. But I swear, like when you sample things, like I sampled this at Ulta, I wore it out of the store, wore it all day, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. And then once you buy it, and once you can wear it every single day, that's when the truth reveals itself. But there's really no way to know if you're gonna love it without buying it first. Um, because clearly sampling it can be untrue. I guess I could have bought a, a travel size, but I wanted the bottle. <laughs> Next is my most recent addition to my collection, and that is Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere by Philosophy. Um, Philosophy is like a body care line. They do like a lot of body washes, lotions, and I guess they have perfume. I love this perfume. It's like a whipped cream, cashmere-y, vanilla-y scent. I love it so much. It's honestly my favorite perfume right now. My only issue with it is that it has no lasting power. I quite literally can't smell it after an hour. I think that may be because it's an eau de toilette, but I'm not sure. I wish they had a stronger version of this. They sell warm cashmere, or fresh cream, fresh cream warm cashmere in a body lotion and like a body wash. So maybe I can like buy those and that would help it like last on my skin. But um, I bought a set that had both of these. This is just like a little small version of it. And I got it for a really good deal, so that's nice. Um, I recommend it though, even though it is not super good at lasting. Okay, next up is one of my favorites, I can say kind of. It is YSL Libra Intense, and this bottle has been through it. The YSL actually fell off. I bought the original last winter, and once again, I was like, oh my god, this is my, like, new signature scent. Like, I'm gonna wear this all the time. This is all I ever need. I don't need any other perfume ever again. And then I smelled the intense version, and I was like, oh my god, like, this is what I'm gonna wear. This is my new signature scent. So I ended up having both of them, and then last summer, my friend smelled the original, which I didn't like as much as this one, um, because it had less vanilla, it was more lavendery. This is just a stronger vanilla version, and I sold it to her for, like, 30 bucks, which if you know the price of YSL Libra, is a great deal. I couldn't just give it away. I couldn't do that. I can't. Um, I love this perfume. I wear this fairly often. It's mostly a winter scent for me, but it has great lasting power. I love the mix of lavender and vanilla. I think if Burberry Goddess had been released when I bought this, I'm not sure which one I would have bought. I'll definitely repurchase when I finish this bottle. Okay, next up is Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. I think it was released in like 2005 and it's been a bestseller for since then. It's super, super sweet, super flowery, super vanilla y, super patchouli y, patchouli, patchouli, patchouli y, patchouli y, patchouli y. I love it. It's so strong though, you have to be super careful. I really just spray like 
maybe two sprays on myself when I'm wearing this. And I think I'm only gonna ever wear this in winter because it's so powerful. I love that I have this in my collection. I got this from one of the Sephora favorites boxes. I redeemed this, like this was what I redeemed it for. I doubt I will finish this anytime soon, but if and when, I will definitely repurchase. Okay, next up I have Fantasy by Britney Spears. This is a like cupcake vanilla scent. I oh my god, I almost just shattered so many things. That could have gone so bad. This is like a cupcakey vanilla y scent. It's probably the best celebrity scent I think I've ever owned or smelled because it actually like is unique and like oh no that's not true uh, I can't say that but it's really good um, this is the one ounce I've had this for years but I wear this consistently it's so good there's nothing like it there's a great value for it it's super like young fresh not fresh young like sweet it's it's great I love this and then I have the Midnight Fantasy, which is uh, a flankert of fantasy. This is like a night version, maybe more, it's like more fruity. I, I don't like this one as much. I barely ever wear this one. I think this one's like more popular though, but I definitely like the original more. I like both though. Yeah, I have this. I bought it in a set with that came with four of her fragrances. And then the next flankert of fantasy I have is Glitter Fantasy. There's like a ton of flankerts of fantasy. I got this in 2020. I think it came out in 2020. This is like a summery version, I would say. There's, I forget what the fruity note is. Let me look it up because I can distinctly smell it every single time. Okay, well it doesn't actually really say. Red fruits. It's it's very fruity. I, I, I like this one too. I like this one more than Midnight Fantasy. Again, I don't wear this one that much. It's also super limited edition, I believe. I'm not actually sure. So I kind of want to like save it. Original Fantasy is my absolute favorite. Okay, the final Britney Spears perfume I have is Curious. Curious. I always say Curious really weird. Curious by Britney Spears. This is like a white floral scent completely, but I like it. I, I really like it. I clearly haven't used that much of it, but I actually am surprised by how little I've used because I really do like it. It's just sheer white florals like Lily of the Valley, other white florals, I don't know. I don't know, I could see wearing this on like a nice spring day and like when you're just looking for something light. I feel like this would be great layered with Glossier. I've probably done that. Oh, we're making progress. <laughs> okay, the next perfume I have is Coco Chanel Eau de Toilette. This is actually my grandma's old perfume. This was her signature scent and I never spray this. This is her old bottle. I, I, like, never knew that the reason she smelled the way she did was because of this, but I think it's so cool because I'll always be able to smell her. Okay, next up I have two Liz Claiborne scents. I have Curve by Liz Claiborne and Curve Black by Liz Claiborne. I bought a little Liz Claiborne set that came with, like, four, and I guess these are the only two that I held on to. Curve by Liz Claiborne used to be, I think, like, super popular in maybe the 90s. I don't really like it. It's... it's I don't know. I don't like it. But Curve Black, I actually used a lot, like my senior year of high school. This is maybe like one ounce, and I think there's like, yeah, there's like barely any left. This is just super like masculine, like cologne-y, um, and when, cologne -y, bologna, I don't, sorry. But when I wanted something like that, this is, was always my go-to. I definitely wouldn't repurchase this because I could find colognes that I like more, but since I owned it, I just used it all the time. Okay, next up is Dossier Ambry Saffron. This is a Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe. I love this scent so much. I'm like halfway through it. I got it relatively recently and I've just loved it ever since I bought it. I, I don't know, this is amazing. My only issue, and this is a me issue, is that I go anismic to it, which sucks. Like, it sucks. This is the only perfume I've tried from Dossier, but I'm super impressed by it because it smells exactly like Baccarat Rouge, and I'll definitely purchase stuff from them in the future when there's something I want. I'd love to try more stuff from their line. Couldn't recommend it enough. It's such a good price for the scent that you're getting, um, especially considering how expensive Baccarat Rouge is. And yeah, and the bottle is like, chic. It's cute. Okay, next up I have Hello Kitty. I don't know what this is. I don't even have a lid for this, so I can't smell it. I don't know what the story is with this. Like, I don't know where I got it. I think Hello Kitty's made like a bunch of random perfumes or like licensed a bunch of random perfumes. Made in France. Kodo perfumes. I, I'm not really sure. I don't know anything about this. I've never smelled it because there's no lid. I'm curious. I'm curious what it smells like. 
Ew. This is like molasses. Ew. Oh, okay. Not a fan. Maybe it's expired, but ugh. I don't recommend that. I don't know what that's about, but I'm glad that I don't have a lid for it because I don't like it. Okay, next up is a classic in the perfume community, and that's Aqualina Pink Sugar. This is like the most straight up sweet vanilla you can find. This also reminds me of like junior and senior year of high school. This is my original bottle. You can tell it's kind of old because it turns yellow. Pink Sugar just does this. Um, but I love this. I will hold on to this because every once in a while you just want some straight up pink sugar. When you smell it out of the bottle, it doesn't smell as good as when you spray it on yourself because it's super concentrated and it almost gets like too... It's too... Yeah, it's just too intense. But when you spray it on yourself, it's more like diluted and it like mixes with your skin and that's when it gets really good. If you haven't smelled pink sugar, you gotta just smell it. It's... I feel like it's just such a classic. I think I've smelled like Pink Flower by Aqualina as well, and I didn't like that, but Pink Sugar is great, and so many perfumes I've smelled like dupe this. It's, it's crazy, even though this is very cheap as it is. Okay, next is another perfume that I wore all of senior year of high school, and that is Versace Blue Jeans. I wore this so much, like literally haven't worn this in senior year of high school. And that's probably like 1.5 ounces that I wore just like constantly. I would overspray so much. Um, smelling it, it reminds me of that year, which is really cool. I like love when scents do that, like the scent memory thing. I really like the scent though, like still. I just don't wear it because I don't know why I don't wear it. I just don't. Um, but this was at one time my most worn scent by far. And you can find it for super cheap at like TJ Maxx. It's like 20 bucks. Um, for 3.4 ounces, which is really good for like a designer perfume. I don't know if they're phasing it out or something, but I don't really see it at department stores quite as much. Okay, next up is the best celebrity scent I think I've ever smelled, and that is Ariana Grande Cloud Intense 2.0. I love Original Cloud, but the Intense is just, to me, like a better version of it. It's so good. Um, it's only sold at Ulta, I believe, and... The reason I like it so much, turns out, is because I love the Baccarat Rouge DNA, and while this is not like an exact dupe whatsoever, it's pretty different, um, there is something in it that smells a lot like Baccarat Rouge, or at least my dupe of Baccarat Rouge. Ariana Grande is known to have really good celebrity perfumes, um, they're great value. This is the only one I've ever owned, but I've considered buying other ones. Um, for the Cloud line, this is by far my favorite. Pink Cloud got released last summer. I didn't really like that one quite as much. It's more fruity, so that's not really going to be for me. Um, and I like the original Cloud, but to me this is just a better version of it. I think I got this the year that it came out, so it's been maybe like a year or two since this came out, and I think I'm almost done with it, so I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it, because recently I haven't been wearing it as much as I used to, but if I were to repurchase something from the Cloud line, it would definitely be the Intense. Okay, my final perfume is actually Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. This is the old version of it. So they don't sell this scent anymore. They sell something in this bottle with a different colored juice and a different scent. This was a gift from my friend who just like had this and like didn't... I can't remember if she didn't like it or if she just didn't wear it enough. Um, turns out I don't wear it at all, but I really like the bottle. <laughs> the bottle is super cute and I like just like having it sitting in my room. It's very like mature, it's very... I don't know, it's it's not a super modern scent, I wouldn't say. It's like super floral and like super super syrupy sweet. So I get why they changed the scent in more recent times, but I do love having the bottle and it's cool having a scent that isn't really available on the market anymore. Okay, wow. That was all of my perfume. I've been wanting to make this video for such a long time, but I had perfumes at school and at my home, so I had to bring them all together, and I finally did it. It took really long to record this. I, like, took breaks because I was getting tired. I can't wait to see, like, how my collection develops. I'm sure I'm going to have to start decluttering perfumes and getting more picky, and obviously I'll add some to my collection. With the amount of spraying I've been doing, my room smells like I sprayed a bunch of perfumes. <laughs> I don't know. If you have any thoughts on my collection, like any recommendations for me based off of what I said, please let me know. Like I actually need recommendations. I like want to get perfumes that are more fitting for me. If you enjoyed, awesome. I love watching perfume collection videos, so I like wanted to make one so bad. And subscribe for Clear Skin, and I don't know if I'll talk to you later. I wanted the bottle.